as a residency, they're important because you change your environment. You don't have the familiar stuff anymore. Taking your work out of that context and making something completely new with the stuff that is around you changes what you think is good or what you think could benefit from a different kind of thinking. After this is when this information will settle where I find out what that meaning is. My name is Lauren Wordy, and I'm a 2021 artist resident at the Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. I wouldn't consider myself a plain air painter. I don't usually work outside. You know, I was inspired by another resident, Ursula, who was going out and drawing, and so I was like, I'll go too. And I dragged this big thing outside. <laughs> and I worked for an evening, mostly drawing in charcoal, and it was really exciting to, to do that. When you're outside, the grass is moving, the trees are moving. It's so different to be in an environment that has sounds, smells, and everything else to be inspired by and, and to work from. I've started a still life almost every day so far. I've got books and daisies that are stacked up with placemats that I found in the building and peonies that I've cut. They all have something to do with spatial distortions, not quite realistic color, maybe an excitement for something that's just a little bit beyond reality and playing with the painterly surface. It's been so exciting to work with colors that you know I don't have at home. It's been a great way to get out of my comfort zone. It's just opened up so many possibilities, so different color-wise, which for someone that mostly works with color is, that's the thing. I gave myself so much freedom while I was here. Unlimited time, unlimited materials, and a huge studio space where you, you, know, you wake up every morning and you just get started. It doesn't matter if what you do is good that day or bad. You can paint over it, you can start something new. It's just so liberating to have all of those things you don't have to worry about. I think I usually make like maybe 20 paintings a year, and here I think I've made 15 in three weeks, <laughs> and two of them are really big, plus like 20 mono prints. So it feels just really generative and, and something to keep jumping off from as I get home. The Safety Pin series started about the time when Trump was being elected and everyone was very scared about how the world will be thrown into this uncertainty. And people started wearing a safety pin to silently share uh, their solidarity with people that Trump had maligned. So the safety pin is just a tool in the common man's arsenal, but it's a mighty one. My name is Rabia Jaz and I am a 2021 artist resident at the Simon Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. This piece is from the Safety Pin series. This is uh, what's happening in Palestine right now and it's kind of perforated the outline and the West Bank mimicking these, you know, bullet holes. So the safety pin here is half inserted and you don't know if it's being removed or if it's being pushed in further, half hope and half hell. So I'll take a safety pin and then, you know, I'll twist it around and I'll dismantle it. Like this one, I bent at the neck because this piece is for George Floyd. My journey with the switchboard started with like a sense of nostalgia and a sense of loss when I lost my grandparents' home to a flood. I wanted to like go back to that time and restore that feeling of beauty and that sense of loss in these paintings. And I love the crackle paste. I think it has naturally time embedded in it and I love the texture that it gave to my paintings. I am using acrylics and I use a lot of gloss glazing liquid and I work in very thin layers so that you almost feel like there's light coming out of them. The reason why I like working small and intimate is just to like stop the viewer, like, you know, make them pause a bit, spend some time with it, pause and reflect. I feel like this residency has been the perfect mold of support and abundance and generosity and like sharing so much knowledge. It's almost like a software update for me as a painter, you know, like I am upgraded, you know, I have so much in me now, you know, so like this wealth of knowledge that was just thrown at me, you know, so generously. One of the things I do here 
is every day I make a self-portrait and it helps me to experiment with the materials. This portrait has the micaceous iron oxide. I played around with the matte acrylics here, the pouring mediums, different colors, palettes. They're almost like studies to help me in the next phase of the studio day. My name is Ursula Gullo, and I'm a 2021 artist resident at the Sam and Adele Golden Foundation for the Arts. There's a little bit of grit in some of the paints that is unique to Williamsburg that I really love. There's been a few times when I've had these breakthroughs where something really cool has happened. And when I'm at my house, normally I would kind of just stick with that. But while I'm here and I have all these materials, I'm going to move on and keep working and keep discovering things. Being here at the residency, there's a lot of fun books to look through, a lot of fun art books, and we were interested in paintings by Edward Fouillard and a lot of his work he did on cardboard, and I love that look. But knowing that cardboard isn't archival, I wondered if there was a way to reproduce that surface. So the people from the lab came here Actually, one of them tore off a little piece of craft paper I have here, and he took it back to the lab. And later that day, we got a recipe on how to make a surface, a ground that looked like cardboard. It was so exciting and fun to see that it worked. Of course, I had to have a go at painting my fellow residents. For the last year, I haven't had the ability to paint other people, so it was really great to have these two people here. And then also bring in things that have meaning to us. The golden color chart is just a wonderful, iconic thing that is here at the residency. And it's just an iconic thing for golden anyway. This whole experience has been expansive. Just really wonderful to learn all the products, meet new people, be in this amazing landscape, and hopefully have relationships going forward with everyone.